I'd like to talk to you very briefly about something that has really blessed my life. It's a way of giving to local people who are in need called Acts 435 and it's obviously based on the verse in the Bible, Acts chapter 4 verse 35, which I happen to be preaching about this Sunday for our Cap Sunday service where it says that the early believers had everything in common and there were no needy persons among them. All my life I have been giving to the poor and the needy in other parts of the world through Tear Fund and other similar organisations. But if I ever thought about how I could help poor people locally, I had no ideas. I just thought, that's the government job, government's job, what can I do? Now at the moment, we have food banks and I would encourage everyone listening to support any local food bank that they know of, especially now in the run-up to Christmas. I know of one food bank in Enniskillen and the person running it told me that they're helping nearly 500 families every week. That's hard to believe. But Acts 435 is a website you go to and on it you will see verified situations of need. Every person has to have an advocate who puts up their particular situation and the sum of money that they're looking for on the site so you can be sure that via Acts 435 the money will be properly used. You can trust it. Many of the situations that are there are referrals that come through the Ministry of CAP and it's been my pleasure and joy to be able to uh, give through this medium. Now I've chosen to say something this morning because at the moment if you go to the website Acts 435 click on the button give now and then you have a choice of looking at different regions within the UK if you go to the Northern Ireland region you will discover that there are eight needs there the combined total of those eight requests comes to only 1035 pounds now surely the people listening to this a uh, short advertisement for Acts 435. Surely between us, that's the folk in Enniskill and Presbyterian Church and the other people who very kindly listen into our Facebook page, surely we could, between us we could have a, a combined need of £1,035 done and dusted by the end of the week. It reminds me of the children's address I heard as a very small boy. Funny how some things stick in your mind. The minister was telling a story about the Little family. Mrs Little was a single parent, ten children. She was asked how she coped and she said, well, every little does a little and every little helps. Now, every little helps with these needs. Eight separate needs. It says for each one of them this morning, nothing donated so far. Now, I think if everybody listening to this visited the website and gave 10 or 20 pounds, we would have that £1,035 of combined need for those eight people done and dusted by the end of this week. One of the sayings or proverbs that has most inspired and encouraged me in my life came from George Hoffman, the founder of Tear Fund in the late 1960s. And he said this, No one person can change the world, but you can change the world for one person and you know when you make those gifts they're not just handouts palming people off some of these gifts can be seeds and, and we should pray that they would be seeds which means that they do more than just meet an immediate need for example somebody needs money to buy a new hard drive for their computer but if they get that and it enables them and their children to get a proper education or to look for a job which is what it says then it becomes a seed from which their life can begin to flourish and from which they in turn can help other people so let's think of our giving our acts of random kindness as they're sometimes called our words our prayers as seeds that will produce fruit beyond our imagining and often at very little cost to ourselves. So I ask you, when you've heard this talk, Google Acts 435 and take some action, remembering every little does a little, 
and every little can help.